Welcome to this video on key codes. Uh, what I'm going to do here on my keyboard, I'm going to press the, uh, the left arrow button. And when I do press the uh, left arrow button, I get a pop-up window here. And it says JavaScript alert, left arrow key. And I'm going to put OK. And now I'm going to press the up arrow key. It says you press the up arrow key. I'm going to press the right arrow key. I get a pop up. So obviously, here's the down arrow key, and I'm going to press the A key, which has a key code of 65, the B key, which has a key code of 66, the C key, which has a C code, uh, key code of 67. So what you can see here is that by pressing on the browser, tapping the browser, that I have script that can tell. Uh, uh, the key code of what key I pressed. Well, obviously, this is a powerful feature for HTML5 computer games or other interaction things because it can tell what key I press and then I can make things happen accordingly. So let's see what happens, how I did this. If I come down here to the body element, I see I have uh, the on key up, um, uh, which is another uh, action that I can have like I had uh, on, on click I, and I had on key down, I have my key up, which key, and I have the event object again like I had before for the button. But this time, uh, what I'm using for the event object is uh, I'm using key code instead of button. So I'm, I'm looking uh, for the value of key code. So it's the event.keycode. So if, and I'm setting key equal to that, so key, K-E-Y here, that can be any legal variable. So if key is equal to 37, that's the left arrow key. Else if key is equal to 38, that's the up arrow key. Else if key is equal to 39, right arrow key, and so on. Else uh, just show the key. What I'm doing here, instead of using a bunch of if statements, I'm using if for the first one, but else if. In other words, the difference between using just if statements and else if statements is this. If one of these statements is true, it ignores all the other ones because it says else. In other words, if I did press key 37, it won't search through, through these anymore. It just says, okay, I found it, that's it, goodbye, I'm out of here because there's no else. If, for example, let, let's say I press key 39, here's what it does. It says, well, it's not 37, else if, well, it's not 38, else if, oh, it is 39, okay, there I go, I show the alert, I'm out of here, okay? Let's say, for example, I press the A key, which is, I think, 66, so it's not going to be any of these, and it's going to say, since it's none of these, else, it must be, I'm just going to display this. So, remember before, we just used all ifs. But on this one here, we use else if, which makes it a bit more efficient. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video, is we're going to show now how we can move the box up and down, as well as to the left and the right. And we did that with the, with the key code uh, property of the event object. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching.